Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I just wanted to do a quick little review on these Cancel Art watercolor pencils. They're 24 portrait set. Um, they also come in, I think a botanical set as well as a 120, um, like a full 120 set. Um, now when I went to Castle Arts website, when I originally, when I purchased these, they didn't have the 120 set was sold. It said it was sold out. And they also had a woodless watercolor pencil set, which I was pretty interested in too. That was sold out as well. Um, they had quite a few things, um, new things up, but they were, a lot of the things were sold out. But um, they did have a sale on the pastel tints and the metallics. Those were available. I think it was like maybe like a $5. Everything seemed to be about $5 off. Like these were $24.99. And then they were on sale for $19.99 and then I signed up for email. So then I got another 10% off. So in the end came out to $18.99. So I noticing that Castle Arts, the, all these new things that they're coming out with, they seem a little bit ex more expensive to me. Now I'm going to be assuming maybe because they're like revamping, like they're making their t new tins. But the tins are really, really pretty. I like their tins, the new tins they're coming out with. But I'm going to tell you why in a minute, why I think they're raising the prices. Um, I think it's because they've been adding all these extra, these little extras into the, the, um, their products. I did a review on the pastel tints and it came with like this really nice, um, cardstock tester sheet. I think that's what we're paying for extra for because they've been adding all these extra things in it, which the thing, extra things are nice, but do I really, would I rather just, um, you know, get my own um, swatch sheet and pay a little less? Probably. So I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Is it worth it to get all these little extras in your tin? Or is this kind of stuff, do you like take it out and never look at it again? You throw it out, just like throw it out. Um, let me know. Um, this is another um, drawing tutorial on how to draw the picture on the tin. Um, it is, um, they're not new colors, so it's the 120 from the 120 color set that um, we're all familiar with. Um, this nice little piece of paper on top came. So let's get a look at the actual pencils. All this talking about the packaging. Let's see the, see the goods. Let's see the pencils. Um, I did sharpen them already. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble in my electric sharpener, I guess, because of the shape of the pencils. These are like a hexagon shape instead of the round shape, which is good. So they don't they don't roll off the table easy um so that's nice um let me get down so you can see what it says here it says castle arts and then watercolor and then on the opposite side it says the color name cinnamon and the number of the pencil so they look pretty much like the round barrel um it's the same design as a round barrel just um in a different shape. So we'll, next up we'll do, um, we'll swatch them out and see how they activate with water. Okay, we're back with the swatches. I laid down the swatches um, off camera because um, I think the main purpose of this video is to see how they um, activate with water. Um, so far, um, the color, I like the color selection um, for the portrait set. I think they picked out good portrait colors. Um, on lay down, I thought they felt very similar to, um, my Arteza watercolor pencils. They were a little bit dry and some of them are a bit scratchy. This green was the worst. I'll show you the green one. I think maybe something's wrong. It's wrong with the green one. It seems like it was a little bit like when I sharpened it. tell like it's not 
something's off with it. I don't know what it is, but this one was a little bit wonky. Um, I do think these pencils got jostled around a lot in shipment because they were shipped via DHL and then um, moved on to the post office. And you can tell by the, the tins dented a bit. And when I did open them, there was kind of like pencil dust around. So I think they might've gotten a bit damaged in shipping, but um, not too bad, I guess. Um, so far, I'm not too excited about them, but let's, I got my two cups of water here. So um, let's test out um, and see how they look when we activate them with the water. Let's see if I can do this. So you guys can, it's not too wonky. Maybe I'm gonna do it um, this way since I'm left-handed because I don't want it to be in my, end up a mess if I do it this way. Um, the trials and tribulations of being a lefty. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. This walnut brown. This is how I um, swatch watercolors. I do half of the box and then I drag it over to the other side to see how um, it works out. You know, I have a clean cup and a, um, you know, a dirty cup. So I'm making sure I always rinse it and I get clean water. Um, so far, I'm not too impressed. Um, you can kind of see the line, you can still see the line of demarcation. Um, the colors themselves, they look very pigmented when, you know, you put them on the paper, but they don't seem... We'll see when they dry what happens. We've given them some time to dry. Um, what do we think? Um, I think they seem a bit inconsistent um, all around. Like some of them are, came out nice. Like this, the green that I thought was the worst, um, laying them down, ended up, I think, looks the nicest. Um, this one over here, Walnut Brown Light, that one I think looks terrible. Um, all the rest of them, they're okay. Uh, I don't know, pretty inconsistent um, color. Um, delusion with the water. Your typical um, budget watercolor pencil set, not anything great. Not, they're not bad, they're not good, they're just okay. So would I buy them again? Probably not. Um, they're $24.99, the regular retail price. Um, I wouldn't, if you can get them on a good sale, maybe, maybe sometimes they might go down. Like they went down to $19.99. Even that I think is a little bit too pricey for this set. But, um, so that's my, basically my, my opinion on these. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think I'm crazy? Do you have these pencils? Do you like them? What do you guys think? I wanted to show you um, a couple of sets that I do really like. Um, this is um, a watercolor pencil set I got from AliExpress, but they're made by the same makers of the Nioni pencils, but most, most of you guys probably know them as Mark Art pencils. 
these are really really nice this is kind of what I compare all um, watercolor pencils to now since I got them um, you know I might by no means any kind of watercolor pencil expert at all like even this one this one wasn't so great over here but as a whole this these lay down really nice and creamy very similar um, to the Nioni mark art pencils themselves um, so this is kind of what I hold all my watercolor pencils. Um, I compared them to, them to these. This is what the tin looks like. Um, it's kind of a funny name to call watercolor pencils Frank, but you can find these on AliExpress. Um, and then my other set I like a lot, watercolor set, is these watercolor pencils from Anna Velassi. Um, these kind of come in second place for me. Um, these you can't get them anymore, so I'm not even gonna go into um, anything really major about these, but these are really pretty and they're nice. Um, so I guess that's my review of these 24 portrait watercolor pencils by Castle Art. Um, final thought, um, I would pass on these because they say you can use them dry and wet, but the dry lay down of them seemed like really, um, I don't even know what to call it. I would say yucky. <laughs> That's kind of the adjective I would use to describe it. It's like a very dry, crumbly. Um, so I guess the only use you would really have to use them with would be um, use them as watercolors. So the actual original 120 pencils is nicer than these. And I think the pastel tint pencils that I um, tried out to those are even nicer than the 120 set, in my opinion. This is all my opinion. Um, you could have totally different experiences with these pencils. You might love them. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these pencils um, in the comments. So with that, I'll say farewell. Um, hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time.